This actually happened on my first jump. The parachute didn't open all the way. Fear is no longer in Cody Truesdell's vocabulary. The guy was really scared because we were fixing to go to reserve shoot. I didn't know this, you know. But the guy tapped me on the shoulder, he said, you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm great, why? He said, you know, because we could have, you know, got in trouble, we could have almost died or something right then. And I was like, well, yeah, but what was I going to do about it? <laughs> you know, I was, just, I was just having fun, man. That was back in 2009. Fast forward 28 more jumps, and you'll find Cody first in line at Ultimate Skydiving Adventures in Delta, Colorado, every Saturday. <laughs> Good to go, man. He tells me that Friday night, he can't sleep, because he knows Saturday morning, 7 a.m., he's coming and jumping. It like shows you that there's nothing that important to stress you out. It's just so spiritual. I mean, like you know that there's a God in heaven after you jump out of a plane. A lot of people will say that skydiving changes your life. And for Cody, that couldn't be any more true. For most of his life, Cody struggled with drugs and alcohol, but now he's six years sober. He was able to replace his drug addiction with his faith in God and an addiction of jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. I think that, that everybody that's struggling with something like drugs and alcohol should try this because I think it fulfills that thing in you that you're you're looking for, you know what I mean? I think it I think it can replace that really easily in a safe, healthy way. It's awesome that someone can find an outlet instead of using drugs and alcohol to be able to fulfill what they need in life. You gotta come do it, man. You gotta come do it. Cody's love for the thrill is contagious. It'll be good. Gonna be good. He even convinced one of his closest friends, Eric Burrell, who's also a recovered addict, to go skydiving for the first time. He even talked me into doing it. It's amazing. I don't even think that I can say that any part of it was terrifying jumping out of the plane. The terrifying part's all the stuff before it. From being in jail multiple times to being homeless, jobless, and hopeless, Cody wants to take the dark times in his past and use them to create hope for people who struggle. I know what you're going through and you can get through it. I did. If I could do it, anybody could do it, you know? And uh, come have some fun with me, you know? Definitely have a lot of fun. Cody and Eric are both part of an RU recovery program that helps people recover from drug and alcohol addiction and learn more about Jesus. Cody picks people up to go to the group every Friday, so if you or somebody you know is struggling with an addiction, get in contact with him and it will help you out and maybe even take you skydiving. That's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back after the break.